conversation and TED talk about recovery after the pandemic. I want to base my presentation around grit. Grit and determination, which is best summarized by Chris Morris. Grit is having the courage to push through, no matter what the obstacles are, because it's worth it. When I think about grit, I think about road grit. In the UK, we often put grit down to prevent cars from slipping in icy, treacherous conditions. The obstacle is overcome to allow people to push through the movements and get to where they need to get to. All it requires from a driver is courage. Let's start with courage and my story. Courage was demonstrated by myself in the form of having never been to the UAE before. I've never worked in an international setting. I've never worked in an all through school. Life was about to begin at the end of my comfort zone. And I think it's fair to say in the UK, life was pretty comfortable. In terms of obstacles, there were lots of things I had to overcome. Language barriers. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know where to begin. As a natural introvert, this was pretty tough. It got significantly tougher when the pandemic struck. My wife and young family were still in the UK, and I wondered where to read and if I would ever see them. Wondering if I would get everything over the line before lockdown. Wondering if I would get internet in my house. Lots of doubts and lots of first world problems, to say the least. But I had to push through. I had to be selfless and not selfish. I had to make sure that my family in the UK were not let down, because they're worth it. I had to make sure my new school and the children who need an exam rate were not let down, because I have realised very, very soon that they too were worth it. Siege mentality kicked in, and I refer to my favourite quote to get me through. And to put some context around this, it's based around an American football team in the 1980s and 90s called the Buffalo Bills. A team that was synonymous with underachieving, a team that was synonymous with having talented individuals, but individuals who were prima donnas, had very high opinions of themselves, and didn't have the grit and determination to succeed. Their coach, Marl Levy, had had enough. He decided, I'm going to sit the players down and talk about a story that he was told by his father. His father served in World War I. Very young man, and he was inspired by one of his army majors, who told them that in treacherous winter conditions, the most unimaginably horrible conditions you can imagine, that when the time is right, we're going to go over the trenches and attack the enemy. Everybody was tired, hungry, mood and morale was low. And the quote that the general said to them that inspired them to pick up their rifles and go over the trenches was this. When it's too tough for them, it's just right for us. I was determined to not be defeated, much like those men out in the, in the trenches in World War I, much like the Buffalo Bills, to turn around their fortunes and their seasons, to come over, to overcome all the obstacles that came my way and their way. I was convinced that this situation was just right for us as we embarked on this unprecedented journey. From the outset, I was inspired by the fact that it was just right for us because of the grit and determination of our staff, students and parents. It made the work and sacrifice worth it. They were and are amazing. It was and is a privilege to serve them. To see the students move on with their lives and education after the most unimaginably stressful and uncertain situation that many of our students are still experiencing was fantastic and all inspiring. In the midst of all this, my family managed to get help, but only just. They showed great grit and determination from the get-go. My children, as soon as they got out here, spent months at home in lockdown. They didn't go beyond the four walls of our home, but they coped. They managed. They showed grit and determination. 
once the restrictions eased, life began to take shape. From the mangroves to going to the movies, Yaz Women's World to Yaz Links, from the grand mosque to the grand occasion of beating Mr. Steve in golf. I've created lifelong memories to cherish forever. So make sure to show some grit in tough times. Have the courage to overcome the obstacles. Is it worth it? You bet. Thank you.